Hey guys, this video is going to be real quick. Um, just going to be a few reasons on why you should be prioritizing the elite uh, zombie challenge that your alliance has every single day. Um, as you can come in here and see the ranking rewards. So your first reason is that just by doing it, you're going to get some free stuff. Maybe you're not super powerful and you're going to be in the top 10, but check this out. Like, uh, As long as you place somewhere in the top 50 look at that 22 uh material chests that's pretty awesome to help speed up some of your material uh equipment building um even just getting in the first thousand you know you're just losing two more chests you're getting 20 chests so long story short if you take nothing away there's no reason to not do this even if you do very little damage you're gonna get some cool items for free um the other reason you want to do it is you're going to actually get items in the event of the fight. So one thing you can do to deal a little more damage if you want, um, I'm going to do this because I'm also going to do a video just doing a quick run through on Medici. You can add an attack boost real quick. What's nice about this challenge is that you don't actually have to bring any of your troops in from wherever they are. And when you go to do it, you can see right here, um, if I had wanted to change my officers out maybe to have a higher fleet size, I could do that temporarily because uh, right now I don't have Suki on there. I've got Braveheart. So if I had more units, I could kind of amp that up a little bit. But my fleet's a little small. We've been doing some warring. So anyway, when you set out, like, obviously if you have um, more units, uh, more than a full fleet, you should uh, prioritize having, like, as many snipers as you can since this is a single large uh, target and snipers are the best at that, but I'm just working with what I got right now. So at the end of the day, uh, when this fight concludes, this is why uh, we're doing this. Check out the things he's given us, 8,000 commander XP, getting uh, higher up to unlock those commander skills. You're getting some meat for working on your Titan. You're also just getting some other bonus items that are a little bit randomized, but you're gonna get some blue ore. Leader badges, turret parts, all that stuff. You can read, you can see. So, like, it only takes, like, two seconds to pretty much do this because you can even just skip the battle and confirm. And just like that, boom, you got 16,000 Commander XP. You know, depending on where you rake, um, dang, slappy bozos now ahead of me because I lost some troops, but we're happy for him. Good for you. Shout out to slappy bozo. Give me a like if you actually watch this. Anyway, um, as you can see here, last time I got number seven, and I just got some free items. So I got stuff to build more zombies, I got more material components, healings, recruitment speed ups, all that good stuff. So to recap, do this every day. It only takes like three seconds. You don't even have to recall your troops to do it, and you're going to get some pretty awesome rewards.